Alrighty, I am back, and I felt like playing some Bloodborne today in honor of the fact that the Bloodborne DLC just got announced, and I believe it is called um, Old Hunters, the Old Hunters expansion, and I'm super excited for this because uh, we saw a lot of things in that trailer, and I'm going to talk about them as we play. I know uh, I'm supposed to take on Marta Logarius. I guess I could level hunter. up. What is it? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me. Two levels. Yeah, we'll just go with skill on this. Actually, vital. Well, we already have over a thousand vitality. I kind of want to get endurance up though, since our skill is so high. You know what? We'll take we'll take endurance after this. Farewell. Let's buy some blood vials though, because I know we need some of those. Yep, we'll buy now. <laughs> you know what? I think instead of going to. Uh, Get Marta Logarius right now. I'm just going to play around the Cathedral Ward Yarnum area. But as I was saying, the Bloodborne DLC set to come out in November, which coincides with Fallout 4, which I will be playing a lot of. And I'm just so excited. This has been like one of the best years for video games, in uh, my opinion. Like, what? Dying Light, Bloodborne, Evolve. Uh, Fallout 4 is coming out. Um, Dark Souls 3 is going to be coming out. I guess that's not till next year. But um, just a lot of amazing games have been made this year, in my opinion. Well, the past I, year, two years, I mean, we had uh, Blood, or not Bloodborne, Borderlands, Borderlands 1 and 2. It's just, I love how good games are getting. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm excited for the Bloodborne DLC because I saw... I believe it's seven new weapons and they look amazing I think the ones I am most excited about are the uh, the pizza cutter and the black bow well I'm just gonna call it black bow for now but it looks like one of those dragon slayer great bows but I am anticipating those highly it looks like with the uh, let's start with the pizza cutter it looks like with the pizza cutter it is a uh, sharp almost or like piece of steel when it looks like a sword. And uh, it looks like when you transform it, it uh, connects to a circular saw that is on your back magnetically and the saw blades rev up and it looks like, uh, I believe, it looked like he was fighting the uh, cleric beast or I, I forget who he was fighting. I don't think it was Ludwig because I believe that uh, monster at the end is Ludwig, the uh, first church hunter. But uh, we also so saw a giant bow, which I am extremely excited for. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a transformable weapon. It didn't really look like it. Um, the only other weapon I saw that shape look anything similar to it was the sword but it was just both because they were hurt. Um, another item I saw that I don't know if you're going to be able to replace the gun with is a shield and he I actually saw it on the character that was uh, in conjunction using the sword and I'm kind of excited about a shield not because I want to block but just because I mean, I do want to block, but at the same time, like, I just think a shield in Bloodborne would be freaking awesome. Just to kind of play it in a more Souls-like way, even though it's a completely different game. Also, I saw, it looked like a cleaver version of the whip. The whip. That looked amazing. Yeah, um... Like how the threaded cane is in this game, it looked like uh, a saw cleaver version of it. I assume the move set for that is going to uh, be your basic cleaver set. I also saw a scythe, like Garmin's uh, scythe. It uh, looked like a scythe cleaver, which 
it was just the the scythe blade on I guess a another hunk of metal if you will but it was uh, made in a way that it uh, resembled the saw cleaver and I assume that those move sets are going to be about the same another um <coughs> excuse me another weapon I saw is actually the sword and I am really excited about that I know I already mentioned it um but I just really want to use a sword and a shield just because I get to much type feeling <laughs> even though uh, I didn't play Dark Souls till after I played Bloodborne but that's besides the point shh um, I also, there was another weapon that looked really cool, uh, I'm just gonna call it Flame Hammer. That's what it looked like. I mean, it looked like your basic Great Hammer. And it looked, it looked as if the, uh, player was tapping the L1 transform button, but instead of transforming, the hammer, a flint-like device opened on its back, and it... Uh, caught fire and you were able to hit the enemy with fire but it looked like after that attack it uh, stopped so it might only be useful for one one hit at a time which would be kind of cool sorry about that I'm just kind of having fun here um But yeah, it looked like it would only be useful for about one bat. Which, I mean, I'm completely cool with just the fact to have a giant hammer that is quicker than the Kirk hammer would be amazing in my opinion. I also saw what looked like a transformable uh, spear pipe. It, looked, it was a spear with the uh, triangular blade coming before and it looked like when you were able to transform it, the triangular blade uh, went to lying perpendicular on the uh, hunk of metal so it turned into kind of a pike if you will like a war pike and I also it looked like in in the opening of the trailer there uh, appeared to be some new outfits one of them kinda resembled Big Hat Logan I mean it was pretty uh, cool because I definitely want a big hat to be like Big Hat Logan but it also looked like there was new uh, hunter attire as well and they even had a hunter attire that looked like Sunbro from Dark Souls 1 sorry I was looking at my phone but yeah it looked like um fuck I forget his name Sun Hold on. Sorry, I had to put my cigarette out. But yeah, it was um it looked it looked similar to his armor, which I I was saying the uh, looked like Solaire's armor from Dark Souls 1 and that is pretty cool I would love to be sorry I'm just kind of having fun fighting these guys I'm really happy to talk about all this right now but yeah also, there looked like some type of a uh, puffy panted attire, and there also appeared to be some type of uh, other hunter's attire. I don't really know how to describe it. It looks like Victorian era equipment, just not what you really describe. It's just looked like it just looked like different armor. Don't know what I'm trying to say here. It just looked like different. Armor. But yeah, I am stupidly excited for that. Like, stupidly excited for this DLC because I love this game. It's the first fun software game or Souls 1 game I've ever played. And it 
completely turn me on. So I have the same feeling for this game that a lot of Dark Souls and stuff, or even Demon Souls for that matter. So I just have a type of love for this game that is unlike any other. Yeah. But no, seriously, this is an amazing game, and I just am so happy that everything's coming out at the same time. But I am also excited about Dark Souls 3 as well. I'm like, uh, I'm real stoked because I want to see if uh, I really want to see how how the bonfires came to be. We're we're on the street is uh, you're gonna be able to make your own bonfires, and. I always thought that, that was a sword in the bonfires. Apparently it's not. It's it's an actually a poker. And I want to see if they wrap up, you know, the lore. I'm kind of hoping it's like a trilogy type thing where they wrap up the uh, lore of the story. No response. Nice. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping like it's like an ending where they wrap up the lore of the story because there's a lot of unanswered questions. I mean, it's all... It's all just inferences. They make everything connect together in such a way that you kind of have to infer, like, oh, this seems like this, but you never know. You never know. But being able to make your own uh, bonfires sounds really appealing to me. Also, uh, another thing is the combat. The combat, uh, I really hope... Bloodborne pace because that would be amazing. I saw the demo. The demo appeared to be uh, Bloodborne based kind of combat and it appears that S uh, automatically heals you all the way now which is another plus because I didn't like the amount of time that it took Estus to heal you in Dark Souls 2. I really hope sincerely they stick with that in Dark Souls uh, 3. God, I was transformed. And it appears they will. Um, the demo didn't really show any special weapons. It just showed your basic uh, great swords. Whoa, 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 whoa! Almost dying to this guy. But just your basic great swords, long swords, all that, like some type of. Uh, Knight's armor, though, which would be pretty cool. Wow, really? Sorry, this guy's in my ass. Holy shit, dude. Sorry, I got carried But yeah, I just hope that Dark Souls 3 kind of wraps up the whole story. Or at least answers some questions that have gone unanswered for me for a while. For a long while. It would be quite... Quite... Uh, lovely, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Satisfying. It'd be gratifying. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta light a cigarette. Hold on one second. And I also wonder um, the time frame that Dark Souls will take place. It appears to take place before. My guess is that it's going to take place before any of the uh, other Dark Souls lore, like how uh, first was lore drawn, then Drain Lake. It, if you're making bonfires, I'm thinking it would be before that time in a different age of fire, but that's just my best guess for right now. I mean, that's based on the way uh, from Soft Lakes to tease their. Uh, games and what I mean tease is like trick the player they like to mess around a little bit I've noticed 
Ooh, more blood vials. Just what I needed. But I do also hope that, uh... Souls games, one thing I'm playing, they don't become that hard. If you get careless, you'll die, but other than that, it pretty much do Souls games. I've learned that after many, 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 uh, angry fits about this game. Many angry fits about this game. I used to get so mad at this game when I didn't know how to play it back when I was trying to play it like a normal hack and slash. What's up, Alfred? Oh, we don't have the cane her summons for you, though. But now that I know how to play, it's really not that big of a deal. And one more game I also want to talk about is Fallout 4. So excited! I'm gonna dump so many hours into that game. I, I dumped so many hours into New Vegas and, and Fallout 3, as it were. And I love the. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked. Killing, killing people for a second. I also love the lore of Fallout. I love the whole post-apocalyptic world thing. I love the whole uh, branching paths in the nuclear war actually happen theory. I just pretty much love everything about Fallout. I am a Fallout pan or Fallout fanboy, and yes, I did pre-order the Pit Boy special. Got minutes, and I am one of them who got it. So yeah, lick my balls. No, seriously though. You don't have to lick my balls. But, um, anyway, like I was saying, I dumped so many hours into New Vegas and into Fallout 3. And not so many into Fallout 2, be just because I, uh, got into that at the end of its life cycle and that was when I was first starting to appreciate video games I was I was a little bit younger when that came out but uh I've been a massive fan ever since uh yeah I'll search you massive fan ever since Fallout 2 and you can't tell me anything different can't tell me anything different. Do do do, running down the place, running down the place, running down the place. I'm McDonald's on the wall, I'm McDonald's on the wall, and it's no fun, and it makes me wanna fall. And we'll go up here, go back to the hunter's dream. I guess I can go try to fight Martyr Logarius. But yeah, more about Fallout 4. I, uh... I'm really digging its whole experience system and the way it's set up and the, uh... The, how your different perks have different levels. I'm really digging that. I really think Fallout 4 is going to turn out amazing. I mean, it's only been five years. Like, I, I was watching E3. Well, like, I saw the E3 presentation on it. Not in person, of course, but I saw the E3 presentation on it uh, when E3 was streaming live. And I nearly wet myself. Okay, maybe not really, but you know what I mean. 
and I love the the character creation if it stays the same the way that character creation is I thought was really cool and the whole beginning part where you are uh, in the bunker and you come out after the bunker why is it my guy ascending? but yeah you need bunker insurance the salesman in the beginning that was freaking awesome too Bunker insurance from the fucking salesman. But yeah, I just, uh, having a developed companion I think is awesome. All the customizable weapons, if they keep those weapon system in there, that is going to be amazing. And if they also keep the, uh, I never tried to poison Marta Logarius. They keep the house building, that looked amazing as well. Just the level of customization in it is insane if it really uh, is going to stay the way they showed it. And I will be so pleased with it. And the uh, rumor is that you can uh, continue leveling even after you beat the game. There is no level cap, which is fucking awesome if you ask me. Hold on, we're going to fight this guy. Harder 
I totally forgot his moveset. So we'll give it one more try. Just one more try. But yeah, um, he was one of the hardest bosses for me on my very first playthrough. I cannot tell you how much I yelled at my TV the other night. I just felt like his uh, move set was really cheap. I just felt like he kept spamming the same fucking attacks over and over and over. And over. So like he literally just kept flailing around. I wish I had a uh, game capture back then because I think he was glitched for a while for some reason. I don't know if it was a bug or what. Um, I looked it up online. I could not find too many people who had the same problem. There was only like two other people I think I found that had that same problem as me, so I kind of think it was a bug. Which, eh, whatever. But once I finally beat him, I felt so accomplished. Like, I felt awesome. I was like, oh yeah, blah blah blah, I'm the best, da 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 da, this, that, and the third. I don't know. When you face something really difficult in these kind of games, or something you perceive as difficult in these games, you feel kind of really proud of yourself when you beat them. Like, you actually accomplish something. Uh, at least that's the way I feel. Let's just take in this atmosphere. Right here. Whole courtyard being up here. It's just insane the amount of detail that they're putting into games anymore. I freaking love it. I love it. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and talk about those uh, Bloodborne DLC and Fallout 4 because I'm stupidly excited. And Dark Souls 3. I don't know which one I'm more excited for, though. Oh, I have to say Fallout 4 I'm most excited for. It. I kind of... Well, I really hope that the uh, Bloodborne DLC is uh, large. Like, I hope it is a huge DLC. I don't remember what it is. I just hope that it features the story. It's just hard to get any moves off of 